you have a voice as an artist. It's just getting your own confidence. And you find it just by doing it. And when you're playing that character, that is your character. And your instincts on the character are your instincts on that character. And we're constantly looking at life. What is it? What is it? Where are we? You know, look how interesting. Look at different cultures, different beliefs. You know, how do they come to that? How do I feel about that? How do, you know, what do I think? It's, it, it is a daily adventure. You have your voice. It's there. Just do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Create. You know, don't let anyone stop you from, from being creative. You do it. And, and that confidence will come. That's why I say, you know, people, there is no right way to do it. You know, there's no right way. You do have your voice. It's, it's there. And it's, uh, it's a matter of you just finding that confidence. I'm just living my life. It's not, it's something that, uh, I'm just living my life. And, and I'm doing the best that I can and doing it in a way that I feel is, is right. And I think that when, I like hearing good news, you know. I like hearing, you know, if something good happens to you, it's nice. I, I have never worried, Matt, about what other people think and what other people see. And I don't want to compare things. I just, because, you know, it, but, but what it is, it's that thing where you just, in life, when it just happens, you know, it just, you meet someone and it's, I can't even describe it. And I learn every single day. Because of what the study tech did for me, I started helping others. Now, my mission is to make study technology available for everyone who wants to reach it. Any group, any person, teacher, any mentor, any parent, every child, anyone. Because there are solutions outside of frustration, anger, or just take a pill. Education is the key. And my desire to help the world's youth to obtain what I didn't have so they can realize their dreams. I went to uh, a dozen different schools throughout America and Canada. I've been diagnosed with a false label, dyslexia. With that, I had been told I had a learning disorder. Of course, once you have that label, you believe it is hopeless and nothing can be done. And after Top Gun and Color of Money, my life still had a huge void because I realized that I had accomplished what I had accomplished just on sheer determinism. And I had many ambitions. And I realized at that point that I would never be able to accomplish those because I hit a wall. I could not learn from what I meant. And because of these barriers, my goals were out of reach. There was a huge mountain before me, and I didn't have the wherewithal to climb it. And I knew it. I couldn't read something and then immediately apply it. When I get to that place, you know, where it's just not happening, I go for a walk, first of all, and I look around. I just take it from the point of view of the character. I say, it ain't happening. So from that, I go, well, that's interesting. And then I kind of explore that. That's not happening. You know, I feel whatever. You know, there's moments you just go, man, it just... It's numb. I don't go, it sucks. Step out and think of, okay, well, I'm feeling this right now. And then I'll go, I'll actually do takes like that. I'll do a scene like that. It's the 15th hour, I'm tired. My character's tired. I, I just, I take it from that point of view of, I'm tired. Okay, well, that's interesting. Well, I never thought I, you know, of the, I, it's kind of this thing. I've never thought of it at this point of view, but I'm gonna just go with it and see what happens. And then from that comes energy. From that, because you're creating it, you are, you're still creating, you're not giving up. You're not using effort to try to fill your preconceived idea of, you know, which we all do. We all come up with, you know, different ways of what we think the scene should be, or I don't invalidate those feelings of me being tired. I sit back and I go, okay, I'm tired. The character's tired, I'm tired, you know, or I feel empty. You know, I'll just play the scene, I'm empty. You know, whatever the scene is, I'll just take it there for a take, and then from that, I know the worst thing that I can do is kind of vapor lock, you know, lock down on it and go, and, you know, Else. I just explore that and then from that it brings me to where the scene is supposed to be or the character or from that is the scene and everyone kind of goes well I never thought I was going to go there because now it's not just me I'm working with other actors or the director uh, and that's that's what I do a voice as an artist it's just getting your own confidence 